People of all ages march on the streets of Trenton to support charter schools. They worry Governor Murphy may shut down or stop the growth of them across the state. We just want him to know what charters are doing and the role they play in our community. They serve a great need. They are so valuable. Our kids benefit from them every day. Rutgers professor Dr. Julia Sass Rubin says a series of reports she worked on a few years ago highlight that charter success doesn't necessarily apply to all students. They had fewer children who qualified for free and reduced price lunch, f many fewer children who were limited English proficient and fewer children with special needs. Rubin says new data reconfirms those findings in two of the categories, English proficiency and special needs. What has changed, however, is that the sector has grown quite a bit, uh, even just in the last three years, and yet we're not seeing uh, a change in the patterns of enrollment. We basically have a conflict with, with most of her data because I think it's done through a lens where they're cherry picking the data to present the conclusions that they want to present. Um, the data that we get comes from the Department of Education. Everybody brings their own facts to the table, depending on which side of the argument. I've never seen it like this in my life. Murphy says he wants to do it right. I've never been, uh, nor will I be, hell no on charters. I just don't like the way we've done it. Let's get one common set of facts and make sensible decisions. If a school is a high-performing school and kids are doing really well based on an objective set of facts, count me as all in. Under the Murphy administration, the state DOE has granted approval of one new charter school which would open in 2019-2020 if it receives final approval. But the DOE has recently denied five requests by existing charter schools to expand. There are 35,000 children on a waiting list to get into a charter school. So that means that the demand is there and it's not being met. An official with the DOE said in a statement, it, quote, will initiate a comprehensive review of the Charter School Program Act. That review will include input from stakeholders throughout the state. The law originally, its intent was to have innovative, experimental, instructional programs that would then be shared with the public schools in that district. I'm not sure that that has occurred mostly anywhere in this state. Blistan says that while she believes in the concept of charter schools, she wants to see the law reviewed. They are not held accountable to quality continuum standards that we have uh, in this state. And that, that's very important because that covers both the instruction that the children receive, it covers the resources that they receive. Cole disagrees. Once you look at it, you'll see how rigorous it is. You'll see the high stakes standards that were held up to and we like those standards, right? Because it serves us to better educate kids. And um, if traditional school districts had those standards, we might actually see some school districts close. As a crowd marched in support of their schools outside of the state house, there was a sign of hope for them inside the building. At a Senate Judiciary Committee meeting, the acting education commissioner said he had not heard anything about a moratorium, just direction for a comprehensive review. In Trenton, Leah Mishkin, NJTV News.